Hi friends, welcome to hightechnology.in. In this tutorial, I will guide you through how to install SAP HANA XX Advanced Runtime. Okay, this is our Windows Server, and thus I have installed VNC Viewer, and now I am taking the remote of particular of our Linux server through VNC Viewer. Okay, this is our Linux system. I have taken remote on this through VNC Viewer. Okay, now I click on XTERM and open our terminal. Now, my first thing is I have to go to the directory where my installer installer has been placed okay that is cd slash sap slash on express 20 underscore 20 slash data units and here as as you guys can see that we have to go to hdb underscore lcm underscore linux underscore x86 underscore 64 okay now ls is for listing all the things in this particular directory and here as you guys can see that here this is a file sdb lcm gui here we are installing xx advanced runtime through gui okay oops that a mistake Okay, this is the command and it will launch our lifecycle management GUI ok this is our GUI here we are updating our existing system and our system is HXC Okay, I have adjusted the display here. Okay, now this is the particular HXC details of our system. Its system ID is HXC, instance number is Java 0, and here we are installing SAP HANA uh, XX Advanced Runtime, and I am deselecting the abort to because version of the about to are that is sap hana afl and sap hana database is of same version now select install sap hana xx advanced runtime version and click on next here it will ask us the hxc password system id password and database user that is system password system user password input the password and click on next here it will ask us to input xsa underscore admin password and here we have to confirm the upper password click on next now this is the summary of all the details that our database username is system xx advanced admin user is as xsa underscore admin and these are the details of all the things that going going to be installed and location of these particular files Okay, now click on update 
and we'll start updating installing our SAP HANA access advanced runtime ok phone I am pausing the video here as it going to take approximate one hour well welcome back friend as you can see that it is currently installing xx advanced components it will take some more time okay our installation has been successful and this is these are the particular URL of SAP HANA cockpit and SAP HANA cockpit manager okay now we are going to launch SAP HANA cockpit manager and that is on our windows server It is okay. Click on advance and proceed to HANA. Here we have to input x s a underscore admin and password of the same. Okay, this is a message that you are not authorized to use SAP HANA Cockpit Manager. To use the SAP HANA Cockpit Manager, you need to a role collection based on the click here yes, and automatically we has been assigned with this Cockpit underscore admin role. Now login with the same user. Okay, friend. This is our cockpit manager. Here we can see cockpit user. Currently, we have only one user that is by default XSA underscore admin. We can create user here. Here we can register resources. Here we can create resource groups. This is all about SAP HANA Cockpit Manager. Through here we can open SAP HANA Cockpit also. This is our SAP HANA Cockpit. Currently we do not have any resources. That's why it is showing zero resources. Okay friend, this is all about how to install SAP HANA XX Advanced and in next tutorial I will guide you through how to register resource here how to create user in SAP HANA Cockpit Manager and all that thank you thank you for watching have a nice day